been so long. Still sitting here setting stuff up. I could probably run my references through Edge just to make stuff run better, but oh well. And start my face tracking. I think this is my first time using, or no, this would be probably second time using updated, or not updated, but full YouTube studio on here. I'm still lowering the tracking quality, but I think next month I'm gonna upgrade. I'll either upgrade my phone or pick up an iPhone. Have an iPhone as a streaming phone just for YouTube studio, it'll be nice. I have tripod score already. I did do some audio testing before, but I'm not sure how good it is right now. Take this away. And my physics are up pretty high, so one more second. These are clearly my settings for, um, for showcases. I think last time I had my VTube studio open, I was doing like a short little run through for a possible client. I think I bagged her, but we'll have to see when her art's finished. Because I just got the rigging job, which makes my life so much easier. 
Where are the physics settings in this program? Here they are. Set it to default. We don't need dragging physics because that's a drag. Ha ha ha, hee hoo. Well, that's, that's fine, I think. There's a lot running. My background is also missing from my stream assets folder, and I don't know why. Um... So I just kind of replaced it with, uh, my banner background for now. I don't know. Looks kind of okay, but you can see the face poking through. Um... This display capture is not centered. Got a little bit of OCD about that. And I did not set up my art pad. Why did I disappear? Okay. Which I'm assuming is hooked up. Correctly, at least. Where on earth? I feel like I lose this pen like twice a day. Once in the morning, and then once when I get home now. Unless that's what I dropped earlier. Wah wah wee wah, where'd it go? What a setup. is set up perfect although we're not using that for a bit because we're still lining haha this will probably be noisy because my mic is picking this up a little hey i know who that looks like so originally i sketched the pose out for this and it was gonna be fawn and then I realized the pose showed off a lot of booty and I didn't want to loot the fawn. So when I posted the work in progress for this to my account, I was just like, I hope my friend doesn't get mad at me for looting his OC. <laughs> These are just like baseline, so we can go back in and deal with everything that looks wrong later. I guess outline her first. I hope it turns out token worthy. I mean the line art looks- or well the sketch looks okay so far. The hair was a pain. Originally, it was like a point here, a point here. And then E.
And then here, where exactly am I? Probably right at that pants leg. This is fully straight. Let's go. Now for this, the line was like emerald art when? I've been wanting to do emerald art for so long. I have an idea. I don't know if like any of you other guys remember this from the D&D campaign, but like when I got the Astrolabe and I need to turn this music down. Damn, I gotta cancel a victory line for that. So like on the airship, I forget where we were going, but when I got the Astrolabe, and the fucking the the magical like lego set that's like animated uh i wanted to like animate her like doing like the little like you should go tell him that you spoke too quickly for me to transcribe <laughs> i'm still like processing the thought in my head and trying to put it into words but i know what i'm talking about when we were on the airship and I got the Astrolabe and the Lego set. And Emerald gave that to Chieko and did like the weird spooky thing with the Lego set. <laughs> I'm trying, but I'm like two paragraphs. <laughs> the airship scene where Emerald gave Chieko the Lego set and did the spooky shadow thing with it before she goes, haha, I'm just kidding, like, this isn't that spooky, I made it look so sinister. I've been wanting to draw- ooh, wait, I have a work in progress that, like, is so, like, I'm about to leak my entire documents. No! Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that bad. Here, where is it? Somewhere. It should be in the same folder. I had- oh. It's literally called D&D character chibis. I wanted to chibify all of our D&D characters. And these are kind of color coded. Obviously this was Chieko. This was Emerald's pose. I was gonna have her holding up like a book, like a tome or something. And then I believe, yeah, this was Lilith. And then I got tokens and character art off of Dark, but I never finished Lilith's sketch for the pose to move on to Dark's. And I mean, as you can see, it's chibi, so like, I just kind of like copied the head, copied the legs. Yeah. That's a lot of layers, holy shit. What did I do? But yeah, I didn't get too far. But this is definitely something I'm gonna pick up because like, look at this sketch. Look at this head. That's a good head. Like this torso base? That's a good torso base. That and just the full bodies came out, like, I- They probably won't get hands though, fuck hands. Hands are for live 2D models. What did I change? I changed physically nothing. A 
<laughs> Look at this head. I don't know if the chibi uh, art would really be like token worthy. Maybe, but probably not. Although I'm probably just too critical on it too. Is that round enough? Yeah, but like, one day, hopefully within these next few years, I want to be good enough to like, do the mobile game art. Like, not literally get paid to do the mobile game art, cause like, holy shit, that's a lot, but like, be able to rival the mobile game artists. For a while I used art I paid for. I've been thinking about paying artists recently, actually. Cause like, there's a lot of artists that'll come in and do freebies for me, and like... Oh, I should pull up the old Fawn fan art I have. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna have to unhide the stuff on my desktop, so let me not- Oh yeah, you're playing against Toby, good luck. <laughs> Whoa, my model glitched. Let me pull up... Show desktop icons... If they'll load, just open it in photos. Hello? It's a PNG file. Like, it's not the most polished, but I just really loved seeing art of my character. Now, this was her last design. This was also her last design. I kind of miss these bells that I had on the antlers. These never even made it into, like, the final rigging version. Uh, this dress was actually like fully based off of a dress that I have in my closet behind me. Uh, cause I plan to cosplay her at some point, but then I was like, I mean, I could custom order stuff. And then this was my second design, which is closer to this design. I really like this art. I used this as a profile picture for a while. There's just a lot of skill behind this, and I'm like, damn. The hair is nice. And these, I love little doodles like these. And like this, getting a full body was really nice. And like the light work is really nice on this, and like the direction of the shadows. A plus, poggers. Like, getting those was really cool. I've been thinking about paying artists to do art of, like, this design.
Now for leggies. This line is kind of curved. It starts about here-ish. We'll see how this looks. Yeah, that's a straightaway line. And then, once I finish up these bass lines, you guys won't hear the mouse clicking as much. Because I can switch over to my art pad. And then I can start doing some basic line cleanup. And I can get to work on the eyes. But for now, we suffer a bit. That's gonna need cleanup, but I'll call it done for now. Oh yeah, this line at the neck here. Has a bit of curve to it. Is that okay? That's not okay. A little like that. I guess we'll have to clean up like this line here on the neck afterwards. Um. The arm still needs done. Boots, this ponytail, face. I'll do face on another layer. Because I'm sure I'll probably copy over the top of the eye just for like laziness' sake.
we have these little thingies over here. edge of the shorts I might boost the size of the line art after it'll look weird in the speed paint but it might look better for the finished drawing Yeah, this arm. We'll come back in and fix that after. I gotta check out handing some stuff, handling some stuff with the quantum. Good luck with the quantums. I will be becoming the line. I'm too used to Valorant games now. I say good luck to everything. <laughs> Now I know I drew that... Yeah, that's right. Let's see it without the sketch. It's because there's no lines adding to it yet. This pull it out the tiniest bit. Pull up the sketch. this line in that's so not overlapping easy done how does it look from far away uh. Okay, that's better, and then I'll thin out the line after. Easy. And this arm over here. Still needs the sleeve cuff. Yike.
Maybe five pixels is the move with it, but we're gonna keep drawing it on three pixels. And once we get to actual editing, figure it out. My extra tools window is also gigantic. There we go. Um. Alright, and this line right here. We'll do the outer lines first, cause I mean I didn't really change the line art much from the sketch on this piece, but better safe than sorry. This drags down. Yeah, this is probably pretty much exactly where I put all these control points earlier. Well, yesterday. And then... Now this has two down near the bottom. I think it was like here. A little further, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we're saving. And this, I think I ended it like here. No. Here. Here. Here? What did I do for this line? There is a where does that blank space go? Blank space goes here. No, it's not a blank space. Okay, it's just another line that I put wah wah wee wah. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. So there's like... Beep. Oop. Bop. I did it. Finally. Okay, what's this? This is just... Wait, 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 wait. How did I do this? Wah, 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 wah. So this is a strand. So this is another section of what I probably meant to be darker colored hair. And then this is a void area. What is up, Rainer? I've confused myself. <laughs> so this... was like that. Except overlapping a little bit less. And looking like a normal line. That looks about right. We're gonna thicken the edges of the lines out anyways, because it'll look weird when we take the sketch away. And then this... about parallel that's about parallel so that's I think the planning was a little bit odd on this one but it's okay and then this down here I did something, that's for sure. I don't know what I did, but I did something. Oh, how did I do this? Maybe we should just end it in a point right at the edge of the canvas and then reshape it a little bit here. about parallel make these closer together alrighty and then we have one more line
Nice. We have our baselines. And that means I am going to take a five, ten minute break here and go flip the dryer. And when we come back, we'll work on the face. Uh, enjoy the music uh, for a few, whoever's here. Um, it is the Riot Games Creator Safe playlist, as always. Uh, I will be back. Oh hey, I didn't realize I left that text up there. That was also from the last stream. We're doing great today. Now, I will be back. Enjoy the music.
we're back. Uh, it, it's a vector layer, so we're gonna put this line in. If we don't like it, we don't like it. We can just remove it later. Also, I hate how far I'm zooming in. That can probably be much thinner, but we'll deal with it later. The neck. Clean it up like a tiny bit. Holy fuck. The angle is not going to look great, actually. Line goes down like this. Okay, so if her neck is curved like this. Yeah, wait a second, that's like exactly how it should look then, except the fabric would be out a bit more. A little bit more. Wah wah wee wah. But does it look weird? Okay, it's such an insignificant detail that like nobody's gonna really notice it. Don't ever point it out to me, fuck you. Wrong outfit. Here we go. And the art pad. So we're gonna label this like base line art. Another vector layer, we'll just call it fish for now. Pull the sketch back up. What are we looking at here? that one. Yeah, no. I really like the Momo pen. But I think the opacity is like slightly down on this. Let's see. Yeah. It's nice for sketching, not for what we're doing, I guess. Unless... Yeah, no, there's... There's no settings for, like, dual colors on that. Pen's not bad. I think the default for like the lines is the G pen though. I think that's not bad. Alrighty. I'm probably gonna map her face again, actually. Which I think I did in the first sketch down here. Oh, I removed it. Uh, yeah, I removed it. 
I'm assuming I did here too. Yeah. All right, we'll just remap it. No worries. back here wah wah wee wah bottom of the ears right there we don't have to map that outer edges of the eye are fine wah wah wee wah we can turn this down a bit there was really no point to that other than comfort I'm honestly not warmed up for doing line art at all today. Which is why I was doing it on Vector, but... Probably just drag this out all the way down and zoom out further because I keep zooming in super far. We have something there. The thickness is wrong, but oh well. Now we should keep those in. I swear the model changes every time I look at the stream. So this is the official model. I haven't gone to stream on her much though, because I finished her and then had to do all like all the life stuff. But this is the official. For now, because I've already gotten better at rigging and picked up a couple more things, so next year I'm gonna update her. For now, I'm gonna vibe though, cause I did a lot of work on her. I have, where is it? I have a Cloud9 ripoff outfit. Best thing I've ever done. I'm awaiting my DMCA. And, not one, not two, but three different hairstyles. I also have a winter outfit. Winter outfits poggers. I'm 
not fully used to my hotkeys anymore though, because it's been about a month since I've streamed. Move her back down here. <laughs> the movement was unexpected. Yeah, I just kind of dragged her out. It looks super weird. If my camera loses tracking, sometimes I'll disappear, like... It's not doing it now that I want it to. Yeah, no, it doesn't want to. What tool are we on? Vector, okay. So we're sticking with this pen now, I guess. Okay, does that do what it's expected to? Perfect. It's a little hard to see past the sketch now, so we're just gonna keep turning it down. I'm also time-lapsing this. Uh... Yee! So hopefully at the end it'll look neat. Okay, I'm gonna lock the baseliner for now. That stops me from drawing, right? Yeah. Turn this a bit. Stop zooming in, you fucking spaz. Here we go. Is that like an okay shape here? Oops. Need a layer I can like paste it. Uh huh. Uh. That's fine actually. I'm trying to do eyes a little bit differently than I normally do them. Just kind of for learning purposes. This line, we're just gonna clean it. Okay, no need for like these three control points. Stop zooming in, you fucking spaz. Okay. That's the wrong tool.
Okay. Yeah, maybe we won't be copying and pasting eyes, actually, because this is going all right. Drag the two points down a bit. Select what I can. Just like live 2D, wah wah wee wah. about right we'll see I think once we hit affiliate what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a uh, channel point redeem that's literally just stop zooming in you fucking spaz. Just like a zoom out reminder. The eye shape looks a little bit thick, but... It'll look like it makes a little more sense. Closer to the end. Okay, we're gonna name this Lashes for now, even though it's gonna get merged downward. We're at 3 pixels for the rest of these lines. Eyes are a little bit thinner. We need an ellipse. Probably make it 2. Stretch it a bit. That looks about good, and then Copy this over here. Now I wouldn't normally clean up a line this early like this, but since it's the eyes, we do need to see what we'll be working with. A 
which yeah this needs to be moved in a little I just don't want to accidentally give her a lazy eye we'll see Eyebrows will leave. Iris liner. I see our internet suffering a little bit, but we've only dropped like 200 frames this stream. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna merge them all, actually. This is now the face. And... Where's the select tool? Losing it. Switch it to a lasso earlier. Whoops. Okay. That's smaller. I... Hmm. Might be this line that's fucking with it. Literally, this entire eye. Yeah, and then, like, the odd lack of roundness down here. This one down so it touches that eye lid. Probably gonna change her mouth and nose just like completely. 
I just need to see... The other reference for her here... There's not many references of this character, so honestly, like... Yeah, the one I have doesn't help me much with what I'm doing. Although I see that I've been drawing her... gloves, like, super high. Yeah, I can't select this layer. about to auto save. There it is. I need to lock the baseline art so I don't draw on it by accident. We're gonna copy this eyebrow. Those came out better than the sketch. Sick. Alright. And then... It doesn't matter, but I'll open up a new layer for the... Nose might almost be better than drawn. Actually, I'm gonna save that nose. Connected nose is better on her, or yeah, 
Okay, now that I see it, the snow is actually out too far. Something like that. That's closer to the other one, yeah. And I guess the line are up a size. a couple sizes. I don't usually like noses that are drawn like that, but that's kind of okay. So we'll mark that as a nose for now. And I wanted like an open teeth smile. Stretch as far as out here, I believe. Except that might be too high up. Ah, no, the face is tilted. So, like, it could end, like, here. And because the face is tilted. Wait a second. So in theory, it could be as wide as about that. I've never really drawn this style of mouth before, I've only animated it. It's like the lips like kind of curve up at the ends. A little bit more on this side, I think, because... Um, I'm stuck between it's perfect and it's creepy. Okay, let's zoom into a hundred percent. Wow, 100% is actually really close. It's like... I don't know if I just overplanned the mouth right there compared to the eyes. The proportions are like... Like, the proportions are good. Maybe shaded it'll look okay. We'll try another mouth. Because we need like the anime evil smile. Her eyebrows are too soft now for like an evil smile though. 
everything basically comes up with like what I did there. do like the teeth on this layer because that's where it really gets fucky. start erasing shit out. We'll have to rasterize it, sad champ. That should be a little lower, tilted up, kind of. Then this tilts up at the end. Just lines at the end. So, like there. No. This side. I'm going to start opening up folders for line art and shit. Line art, what colors have we used? Line art can be green. This is coloring for now. Coloring can be orange. Start off with the hair. I think about this shade is alright. filling up to where it needs to be.
Does that cause issues anywhere? Not really. Okay, no. Hair all on the same layers. I'll leave that void for now. about to auto save isn't it yep finally we get to shade something let's go shadow This piece right off the bat
I guess blurred that's fine because it's kind of far away. I don't know though. It is a soft shadow, it's just like in.
That should have been done with the soft eraser, but it came out perfectly fine, so... Okay, the full shading on the bangs right there is really cute, but... We'll try to fill in, like, the rest of the other... Get everything prepared for that. Which, this is actually on an odd angle. So... The length cannot mirror the line next to it at all. Be noticeable. Basically, and this piece gets shaded here. that a little. Same with that side. We're auto saving. I should change the frequency of that, but it's uh 
probably good that it comes in so frequently. Focusing a little too hard on small details again. So zoom out your spaz. Maybe like a line like Yeah, that goes with that piece. Except my hands on an awkward angle no matter which way I draw that. okay or probably not at this one. Thank you. 
Is there no opacity on? Yeah, there is. Okay, color margin. Dog shit. Color margin even less. Perfect. This is a good time for me to take a quick little break if anyone's here. I can go get my stuff out of the dryer now. And go to the bathroom. Because I drink way too much water. I'll be back. Enjoy the music.
And they mark. Um, this is actually probably where we're gonna end for tonight. Um, yeah. I wish I could stay on longer, but I do have to be up pretty early now. Um, which is why we've been struggling to figure out a streaming schedule. Tonight's actually the first night in a couple of weeks I think I've had the stream. So 
I'm hoping to be back on this channel more now. Um, because we seem to be figuring it out. Um, probably a lot earlier too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hope everyone has a good night. I'm gonna figure out my night. Figure out a food real quick before I pass out. Cause I'm honestly ending later than I probably should have. Have a good night, everyone. And we'll work on this more next time we're on. Good night. Thank you.